And we're live. Hello, everybody. <laughs> We're, oh, that was we're quiet, live. Wasn't it? We're li oh, we're we live. Are live. Oh, we are live. Hi. This is not pre-recorded. This is really throwing me off, though, because I'm on the wrong side. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I okay, see. you're going to see what I see. You're going to end up finding yourself staring over there rather than at the camera. You see, I can't see it. You'll be able to tell if I'm staring at ourselves because I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah. My course for my, my desktop is really short so to pull it over for us to look at it it about rips it out of the computer every time <laughs> so most of the time we don't know what we're doing it's so weird it's throwing me off so you okay i it's a freaking me out a little bit i'm not gonna lie <laughs> so um we were talking about you're probably wondering what this picture here is this is can anybody see that can you see that close up there can you recognize him that's John Corbett, my first husband. How old were you guys married? Uh, well, then Bo Derek came into the picture, so, you know. I was only a nine, she was a ten. What can you do? No, I wish. <laughs> that's, my, that's my wish. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, I, I met him in Vegas at the CMA. And, uh, lucky you. It was lucky. And he actually invited me to sing his album and come back and have drinks with him, and I was too chicken to write on the ram through Vegas by myself at 11.30 at night, and now it's one of those where it's just a frame and a picture in a frame, and that's all the story there is to it. Anyway. I'm that's, still that's saying, my J. Just okay. tell everybody that's your... That's my first husband. And I didn't and even realize second. who it was. That's why, before we started the show, I said, Lori, who is that man? I said, he looks so familiar, and I don't know who he is. Because I've been staring at this thing since Monday going, who, who is that? he? <laughs> We well, should have seen it was funny because when uh, Saturday when Al came in, Al Al goes, "Who's that?" <laughs> You're like, "That was number one, honey. Remember?" <laughs> That's what I traded in for you. <laughs> That's what you would I would have traded you in for. Well, anyway, John Corbett. Uh, what was uh, the Sex and the City? Northern Exposure yeah. was his first one. Um, he's got a, he's a great musician. I mean, I've got his CD on. Now I put it on my phone. After we were talking about it, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I want to hear his voice. And um, my big fat Greek wedding. Mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. Tombstone. He was in Tombstone yep. and a lot of good things. Anyway, shout out to John. So, and we were just talking about reunion. Reunion. You could be a special guest on our show. Oh, yeah. With, With Justin and, and Jason. Jason. We we'll have, have the triple J. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the triple J. Uh, that was a good way to start. So yeah, so now we just call us. Yeah. We'll set them up. <laughs> do that. Yeah, we're our own I'll lose weight for that. Yeah, we don't have money for you. Right now. <laughs> just call us. We're low budget. Just call. So what do you guys? Uh, what have you been up to? Okay, so I was so excited this past weekend because it was the spring equinox, and you know I'm earthy hippy dippy. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I always like celebrating all the change of seasons and the fun thing you do on the spring equinox. We started this last year because I had seen an article that um, said you can stand an egg on its end on the day of the, the spring equinox. I saw that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we did it last year. It worked. Um, and Michelle tried it last year. It didn't work for her. Oh, 
Well, you know what? My eggs didn't work either, so. <laughs> Walmart eggs work. I we don't should know. do it here, just not on Equinox. We just do it at any time and see, because they were having a debate. Well, no, we can do it on any time. And then the other person said, well, no, we did it actually a couple days after. So we think it works three days after and three days before. And I thought, we should do that. We should have done it today. Then if I thought about it, because today would have been three yeah. days after. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. It'd be funny to have a, a cartoon done of each of us, how we do it, because I can just picture Al. He'd put the egg like that and fall over and he just. <laughs> done. 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 He'd be like doing that. Careful. Yeah, I tried to like when I try to try to stand and roll over and I'm like okay, and roll over and then I think I'm done. done. It's just rolling. It's not cool. Well, I don't. I, I don't know if it, it has to do with like temperature either because I I had gotten out the eggs, but the boys they were doing the dishes at the time, oh. and so they couldn't really focus on doing it with me. So I said, oh, I said, okay, once you finish the dishes, then we'll do it. Well, I the eggs out in there were about like 10, 15 minutes sitting on the counter. So it could have been temperature oh, too. They, oh, could Mine be. was just out of the fridge. So, hmm. I don't know. It'd be interesting to find out. We'll try different things. Mm -hmm. I know all of you out there are, can't wait. <laughs> so for the egg challenge. For the egg challenge. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be egg egg challenge. <laughs> What's that? So that's Irene. Oh. <laughs> it's like, right sound like a podcast. <laughs> Doesn't it? It does a little bit. <laughs> that's so weird. I was like, do we have a podcast going? Yeah. yeah. So what have you been up to? Uh, getting ready for San Antonio on the 1st. Um, sinus headaches. That's where I was last. Did you guys do one of the, did you do a live one of the I hadn't even posted the pictures from cleaning room. Oh, yeah, okay. we didn't even. By the time we got to that point in the day, we were so tired. We were like, we're done. <laughs> we were just done. Yeah. I, you know what? I don't know what happened to cleaning room, but it really wore me out. Yeah. Be clear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It might I don't know. I just, I was it exhausted. Was. And it didn't seem like we had as much to do this year. I, well, I mean, it's or as hard, you know, it, it wasn't really as hard. Yeah. We've been keeping up on it, but it was the same amount of work, just not as detailed as we yeah, have to do it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I left early on Friday because I was just so dang tired. Yeah, I was too. It took me like a week to recover. Mm -hmm. And I didn't only do take a nap. anything at my house, really. Well, I went and either. did remodeling in my bathroom, but I didn't clean anything. So. Yeah, I just, I have, I still have like, Laundry piled up on my bed that I've just pushed over that I'm sleeping right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, just can't get it put away. So I pick it, it out. Is it in the shape of a person? Yeah. So, would be your laundry boyfriend. Push it over. <laughs> and over and Maybe Jason. Yeah. Jason dirty laundry. Of course, if it's not <laughs> smelling, but you know. Well, it's clean laundry though, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's clean. It is oh, clean. Okay. He's not sleeping with dirty laundry. No. Not if he's sleeping over. with it for weeks. So it's dirty again. You <laughs> yeah, will need to push clean it. Over. So, yeah, spring though. Spring has been cracking our heads. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sinuses have been. Sinuses, allergies are horrible. Yeah, they are. Yeah, my my nose has been draining a little bit. And uh, I was telling Michelle earlier that I went out to baseball practice last night. Well, I got this tickle in my throat, and we had water, and I was trying to drink water and get rid of it. And I just kept coughing, and I know all the moms are thinking, Oh, she's got that. It doesn't help out there. I had gum. I took a sip of my water, but I I've had people coming in it. though too and saying the same thing. So something in here is and they had a bunch of the, stuff in here yeah, and people were coming in coughing all my appointments. Monday was busy. Mm -hmm. I had appointments and I had drop ins mm -hmm. like crazy. Yeah. I went home and I was like, oh, I'm exhausted. I can't believe it's only Wednesday. Oh, I know. I just can't either. But we're happy to see you all. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just feels even like even if you only busy. watch us on Thursday or Friday or Saturday, we get a lot of our views on Saturday. Not TikTok. Yeah. TikTok. I don't even know what TikTok. I. I don't. I don't really uh, know either. There's YouTube, a whole bunch YouTube. of videos. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. But they don't have to be long videos. They're like short. Videos. But they're called. Well, did you hear <laughs> the latest thing? No. I don't know how. Should I say stupid? Okay. <laughs> People can be, but somebody put out, and I, I, 
face out of TikTok, I'm not sure, but they put out this thing where they're using nasal spray. Have you heard this? Mm-hmm. Squirting the nasal spray in their mouth so it absorbs so that they can tan darker in the tanning bed. They spray it on their skin or their No, it? they are ingesting it. That makes you tan darker? Yeah, because somebody had said that it it has some does something to the pigments in your skin, so they're putting in their mouth. I guess you know, because with nitroglycerin and stuff, your mouth is the most mm-hmm. absorbent. Yeah, yeah, they're spraying it in their mouth, basically well, drinking. Kids are eating Tide Pods not too long ago. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> it is a little scary. Some of these challenges and stuff are just. Did you see the crate challenge? Like they really hurt themselves. Which oh, one? So these these kids were. They stack, like, you know, those um, milk plates. Oh, yeah. They stack them, but nothing's tying them together. So they'd be like a stack of two, a stack of three, a stack of four, a stack of five. And then it goes back down. So it's like a little pyramid they have. Nothing's holding them together. And they had to walk all the way to the top and back down. And there's a couple, they made it. But then most of them fell off of them because well, they're yeah. unstable. And it, it looked like they really hurt themselves. It's horrible. Oh, it's horrible. Although I probably would have tried that in my youth, probably did. Yeah, uh, there, there are some. Well, what about what were they putting a bunch of cinnamon in their mouth and choking? Oh yeah, because you could choke yourself because yeah. of all the powder cinnamon. Yeah, and, they, and that was a challenge to see how much you could do or what you could do. Why? Yeah, why, why, why do you need cinnamon? We watched this show. You, have you ever heard of ridiculousness? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we watched that. Oh my God, some of the stuff on there is. Ridiculous. It You're like ridiculous. really that's ridiculous. And I like the fact that you can't do things and send it to them. They go out on the web and find these stupid things. And there's even like a warning, like oh yeah. You know. But yeah. But, uh, what people do your to to be famous and shoot. Oh, well, I mean if table. I did a scorpion I would just die. You'd have to put oh. me in the hospital, you know, when your feet come up and like when you, your body I think that's what they call it. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. The back of your head. So, like, some of little them. clips of people scorpion, like, when they fall. And I'm like, oh, oh, I'd break in two. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> I like to see them when they're my age. Probably hurting. Yeah. Oh, very much hurting. Yeah. It's hurt a lot worse as you get older. Mm-hmm. Well, what about Johnny Knoxville? Didn't he get brain damage making his last movie? Oh, I like, think so. They, so, they so yeah. Him yeah. And yeah. Like now he's like how can you not it? yeah well, all brain the things that they did how did he how but he only he, had one he, this was his last one and this is the it's one always the last one that he <laughs> got seriously hurt it's like dude you've been so lucky just stop don't push it you're how how old is he and now oh yeah and now you have brain damage that you know you could have just well stopped. I don't know how many times he said though this is my last one mm-hmm. this really is his last one. Well, this time it's his last I one. know. That's all sad. Not my choice. Yeah, it is. That's too bad. I can only do so Don't many do dumb things. Mm-hmm. Stay safe. Yeah. Stay safe. Be safe. Do you want to be an influencer? Actually, influence. Just say something positive. God, yeah. <laughs> well, and people making careers out of being an influencer and they're putting stuff on there that you're. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've seen what that is where, the wild coming to? What is it coming to? <laughs> Speaking of, how about that tornado in New Orleans? I didn't see that. They had a tornado. Mm-hmm. They don't have tornadoes. They have hurricanes and floods. Well, you still have tornadoes in there. No, they were saying they have not had tornadoes in this. I know Mobile does. Yeah, no. Um, in the parish... They got hit. It was destroyed by Katrina. It was, and it's just kind of a little north of New Orleans. It was, uh, they were just recovering from the last two hurricanes and then a tornado. And the the president of the parish down there says, we've, we've never seen tornadoes. We don't get tornadoes. Mm-hmm. Hurricanes we get, but not tornadoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, normally they don't come that far down. They'll go across. Louisiana mm-hmm. and hit your mobile and stuff, but it made that dip down. It was mm-hmm. on TV. It was it was oh, it was huge, mm-hmm. and then it had a second one coming out as a loop, looping. It was like it had the little baby charger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. 
I I want people. Used to tornadoes. I mean, Huntsville gets tornadoes all the time. Yeah. Well, my mom and them were from Kansas, Nebraska. Tornado Alley mm -hmm. there too. Oklahoma, I think, is the worst. They're, they're hit every time, no matter what. But it came through Texas and then just mm -hmm. kept going. It's this whole storefront. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope everybody's doing okay down there. So Me too. Your well, our well wishes to you. And yes, and well wishes to uh, uh, Ukraine. Mm -hmm. That's a mess. always always a mess going on over there. And, uh, so what else? I well, since it is spring, really yeah. quick, I'm getting some home improvement stuff done by my landlord. Oh, you are? I am. So they're painting our our duplex, which is really super nice because it's needed, you needed it. for, oh my gosh, yes, because it's a little older and stuff. And then I got my bush trimmed outside. It's it's all manicured, manicured and <laughs> nice and pretty. Leslie seen it before and it was a disaster. It was. It oh was, my gosh. It was so. I've almost ran into a bush. I just know. It in so a messy. But, look at this. Can you see it? It's so cleaned up out there. It looks so nice. And I'm <laughs> this is so the first picture of your bush we've seen. Isn't yes, it? yes, it is. <laughs> very, very nice looking. We haven't um, talked about your bush in a long time. No, so <laughs> now, now it is so clean, so clean. Is your spouse still in bush? I, you know what I don't. But how can he hide in there now? Well, it's still got a little bush out there. I know, still but still a bush, a little bush <laughs> on the sides. Well, he chopped his head off. But I mean, like, look, he could burrow. Don't they don't think could. I think they do. Okay. <laughs> hopefully there's not like a little Well, at least now your mom won't run into your bush. I know. It's all trimmed. It's good. It's good to have a trimmed bush. It sure is. Uh, but the guy who was doing this was actually a painter. And so he's like, I'm not a landscaper. But I'm like, he did a really good job. So you know what? A shout out to him and his hard work. He has cleaned all that up, the sidewalk, the bush, the tree in the center, and now he's painting the duplex. And giving her compliments as she comes in and out. Yes, she's very nice. And after she <laughs> even asked, like, do you need some water? Because he's like, oh, because the one side gets really hot over there. Oh, and it was yeah. warm and he's got his sweatshirt on and his, I don't know what you wear, like overalls. Yeah, overall yeah. And so he's out there sweating and Ashton, you know, offered him some water and stuff. And then I got painting. You know, where do those guys go to the bathroom? Do they have to drive somewhere when they're out working on something? Probably. They, they probably have to go to the gas station. Though. Unless the, the person that they're working for allows them to use the bathroom in the house. Oh. Or they use the bush. Yeah, they might use well, the bush. Well, there is a little inlet in there. Like I said, your bush has an inlet. And, hide and um, I know, I just got thinking. I don't know why I would think, why, where does he go to the bathroom? But I think he went. When you're on jobs like that, and you're like he's there, it starts at seven, and he's still there when I get off. Maybe he has that little tube thing, the catheter. Well, <laughs> it's funny we were talking about that, but no, it's um, it's you, you, you strap the bottle part to your ankle, and a lot of orchard workers do use this. You strap it to the ankle, and it's a tube, and it just cups. They got it for women too, and you can go, and it just goes down into the bottle. Howard Wallowitz had it on Big Bang Theory to hmm. stand in line waiting for Star Wars tickets. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just really glad it works somewhere there's a bathroom at my convenience. Because oh. what if you got to really go? And then you, you have, have to no drive way. somewhere and you have, to, you have to buy something every time you use the bathroom. Yeah. Some places are like, oh, no, you're not going to buy a bathroom without being a paying customer. Mm -hmm. so.
got to kind of plan for bathroom mm -hmm. like. Okay, so that's a. <laughs> I don't know. Saturday, we had the trip over to uh, Lake Washington, and so we were on a boat. Well, the first trip was planned for St. Patrick's Day, mm -hmm. and it was leaving at 11 o'clock. Well, then the St. Patrick's Day, they decided not to do it, so we did Saturday the 19th. Mm -hmm. So the itinerary, I just changed the date. Show up at 8, we'll leave at 8.30, mm -hmm. and off we go. Well, we had to be at the boat at 10.30, which means there was no bathroom stop. Oh. And we didn't realize, I told everybody to go before we go, but then we get on the bus and we're going. And, and so I always put on the map so I can see where we're going and how much time. And I'm looking going, oh, we are just going to make it now. So I go up to the bus driver, Mike, and I said, um, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't think we're going to be able to stop. And he goes, he looks down at his because he has the same thing going to GPS and goes, oh, no. Oh. So I get on the thing. I says, I am sorry, but there are no bathroom stops. Mm -hmm. So the bathroom in the back, I can help you guys if you want to use it. Um, is everybody okay? Because it was only, it was a two and a half. Mm -hmm. But I like to stop so that you're not going that long, at least every two hours. This was going to stretch it by a half. And once you got there, there was no place to go. You had to walk clear down the pier to get to the boat. Oh, no. But there wasn't one, on the, at least on the bus. There was one on the bus, okay. yes. So... So shout out to all those folks that went with me and actually got brave enough to use the one on the bus. I use it all the time because I drink a lot of water. But there were some people that got to experience it for the first time in their lives. And I promised them that, no, no, never going to do that again. Because I couldn't figure out, I always had that time. I was like, how did that get so off? Mm -hmm. And then I realized the boarding time changed and I didn't catch it. Do you I hear thought, the flush of everything when you're on the bus and the doors close? Or do they don't flush. They're it's like, like a porta potty. potty. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes a bus will have a flushing one. What if? Oh. What if we went over a bump and it flushed in the bottom? That would be awful. Oh, oh no, what that's happening. What if somebody happened. had <laughs> a number two bus. problem and then? Oh yeah. Does it have like a closure where it doesn't close? It has a lid. That's it. Yeah, and, and they really, you really so you better try you don't have a number two yeah, problem. Yeah, oh. yeah, you really do. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it happens, and thank well, goodness. Well, crap happens. Crap happens. It does. True that. So, yeah, it was a, <laughs> and the little tiny candy bars were not a hit. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, I, Walmart I, didn't have anything when I went. Somebody called it. She goes, oh, those are Easter ones. Mm -hmm. And I said, together at Walmart and so I went back and it's like sure enough it was the Easter ones and they had and there was not I swear there was not as many in there as they said it was there there was no candy no. though when I went like I went down the full candy aisle they didn't have anything you could get like the single bars like full bars oh yeah and then like Can you imagine breaking all <laughs> pieces Here's your square. I, and then I went to the <laughs> Easter section because it's the only place I knew candy yeah. was in that whole place. And so that is all I found. And that's yeah. why I called you. I said, are the mini ones okay? Cause... Yeah, well, and the <laughs> mini ones usually are in a bigger bag because I'm thinking Costco. Yeah. Well, when you brought it to me, I just stuck it in the bag. Mm -hmm. So when I get on the bus, and so I go to dump it, and it was like, <laughs> and I went, oh, shoot, I got 40, was it 40, 50 people on here. So everybody got a piece of candy and <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God. Sorry, guys. So when we stopped, we did stop on at the pass on the way back. And uh, oh, boy. I thought, man, if they have some candy bars in here, maybe I'll just buy everybody one. But they didn't. They had like fudge and stuff like that. Mm, they're gonna change uh, everybody's being okay. The, the breakfast, the brunch, though, was really good. It looked good from your picture. Yeah. It was really good. I haven't checked this out yet. I should probably do it. I know. They, they gave everybody champagne. Well, I don't drink champagne, plus I was working, so my glass is sitting there the whole time. I was like, aren't you going to drink that? Aren't you going to drink I said, no, I'm working. I don't, I, plus it gives me a headache. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until afterwards that one of the gals said, um, my Aunt Norma, she said, uh, oh, they gave me sparkling cider. I was like, oh, I didn't you know they had sparkling cider. Yeah, I could have. I could have pretended I was drinking something. Mm -hmm. But, anyway, it was a good time. Good. But that was bringing up the bathroom. That was. I feel the older you get too, you gotta make sure you plan it in the bathroom mm -hmm. okay. Or well, I guess with kids too. Oh goodness, yeah. yes. Imagine. Or being female. Yeah. yeah. 
because I don't know. Matt stops like far more than I do when we go on a car I know, but it's easier for a guy to they pull around the path off, yeah. than walk in the bushes. True. And then, Except for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't have that yet. No. <laughs> well, I had. Well, you, no, we're not going. Well, I've got a couple more things. I've got announcements and then holidays and our volunteers. But I didn't even announce one earlier. Oh, wasn't she last time? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Well, let's, let's announce did her first. Further? I think nope. we're we I thought we did. did we? I'm pretty sure we did. I thought so. I didn't think we did. I thought we did. Well, Myrtle was our last one here in the month. Um, we have our new one now, Peggy, and I'll talk about her next week. But I feel like this, this month's just been such a whirlwind. I didn't think I got to her. Was she, wasn't she February? Or was she? Technically, not? she was given the award in February. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that we talked about her. Oh, so too, because we want to, yeah. Well, quick fail, otherwise. Um, she's from San Francisco and met her husband down in San Francisco and has been in the city Yakima. Um, she takes care of Warren's mom and sister. She has one daughter. Um, she used to work retail and was a preschool after school teacher for 16 years. She enjoys diamond art traveling, playing cards, dominoes, reading, and a variety of other crafts. Caring, service oriented, and happy. Um, she started volunteering here about six years ago just to have something to do and keep her active, socializing with others. And she all around feels better when she's here. Yeah, we didn't. We just heard the interview because I would have brought up that they really, uh, Lauren passed away mm-hmm. in December, wasn't it? It was a real no, November. November. It was yeah, November. because I took her, she went to San, or San Diego trip oh, with us yeah. for that. Um, so it's been a little hard for her, but I got a chance to really listen to her, their love story. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, have you heard it? I Lauren one time out here, well, he started talking about the Navy, and yeah. then we were talking, and then he talked about how him and Merlin met, and well, yeah, and they almost didn't get together, and mm-hmm. then they did, and it's such, a, it was such a, it, it, it's story. a good story. Yeah, it's a good love story. So. And she does a lot for us. She so. does. She does hand and foot and yeah. peanut butter. She does She works on um, the breakfast. She works with the soup and sandwich. She does special events for Sandy Z. She does all the grocery shopping for Sandy Z. Yeah. I think if we told her to do something, she would just do it because she would. Marla. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's yeah. a she's a good gal. Yeah. yeah. So she definitely deserved that. Yeah. yeah Employee of the month. She did. So. Tell us about your story. Well, okay. Let's, let's this. What's going right. on over there? So does anybody know what a cassowary is? A I've cassowary. heard of that, but I don't cassowary. know what it is. A cassowary is the most dangerous bird in the world. Cool. This is a cassowary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He does look cute. Does he look like a big ostrich? He does. Like a peacock. I don't know. He looks like a peacock. Okay, the cassowary is dangerous because of its size and strength. They have killed humans with powerful kicks and dagger-like talons. Oh wait, wait, is that the one on up? Oh, is that what oh, that is? It could very well yeah, oh. could very well be. Yeah. <laughs> this is its feet. Oh no, that's not its feet. That's I was it. like, that's wait, him. that looks like a face on its feet. <laughs> <laughs> I had this all planned out just right. In order, but okay, so I'll just go in order. Here, here is his feet. Okay, now I'm going to Google that because I'm questioning myself. So that was really close. I got it This bird, um, it's enormous, flightless bird up to 200 pounds and six feet tall. That bird is taller than me. The bird is truly a living dinosaur. Oh, that's cool. It does look like. Now, what does that remind you of in Jurassic Park? In Jurassic Park. Yeah. What are those dinosaurs that have that thing on their head? Thing on their head. Yeah. I know what you're talking about, but I can't tell you the name of it. Yeah. Well, those ones though are actually milder, but the most dangerous dinosaur is the Velociraptor. Mm. Oh, and these act that, just like them. Oh, I was going to say, oh. is it related to a velociraptor? Yeah, it's uh, related to the velociraptor. After all, it is a bird. Kind of Birds are literally the descendants of dinosaurs. Yeah. You know that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Did you know that? Mm -hmm. That birds are are know. literally the descendants of dinosaurs. Do you know now they're thinking now they're seeing in some fossils that dinosaurs actually some of them have feathers. Yeah. So oh yeah. Now, That's what they like, say is yeah. more of them were uh, were um it says they uh, this bird they have extremely muscular legs used for running, kicking, and jumping on top of a victim. It can run as fast as 30 miles an hour, easily outrun a human. Oh, yeah. And what they do is, um, where is that? Because it was just cracking me up. Um, they can they can go fly up, and their legs and those claws come out, and they can. What's the word? Um, there is the word, uh, disembowel a human or animal with one swipe Yikes. with these claws. Anyway, they were in Australia. I was going to say, where, of course, it was in Australia. Yeah, but they are, like the dinosaurs, they're at serious risk of extinction. Mm -hmm. And people have, people have been feeding them, um, you know, mm, and unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, it's causing them to run up on humans mm -hmm. expecting food. And then when they don't get it, they attack. Yeah, it's, so it's, you know, the best thing to do, even the zoo people say, you know, don't, okay, don't do well, that. Like, don't do that with any wild well, animals. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. the raccoons or something like that. You don't do that. Can you imagine falling on the ground and seeing that staring at you? That is, it is crazy. Looking okay, tight. Kevin on up with actually a Himalayan mono pheasant. Oh, oh okay. Nice it looks like, a, nice it looks like <laughs> a wig with yes. arms and legs. Like it's a toupee. Yeah, it does. It's, it's and and I actually watched it on a Saturday morning show. Mm -hmm. Ellen, I watched it. And I found it so fascinating because the number one thing that this bird does is that when it eats, it eats these certain berries that have a pit, a seed in it, and they eat it in the turnaround time, I don't know, it's like 20 minutes, kind of like me. <laughs> and then, so it eats all these berries, and then it goes through, and then it, and plants them. So oh, goes, okay. yeah. Oh. And so it's keeping this particular plant alive. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was really interesting. Oh, Precisely. I know what show it's on. It's on um, The Secrets of Scat. Have you guys seen that on the Discovery Channel? No, I don't have a Discovery Channel. Oh, that's really interesting. But it's this whole crew of people that go through and discover things through animals too, which is scat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that and that one show was on these things. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna bring that in because they're so cool. And we'll be going to Australia again. There like, are, let's see, um, although estimates vary. It's pretty certain that there are only a few thousand left alive mm -hmm. and most likely um, only 2,000 or so southern cassowaries remaining in the wilds of Queensland. Mm. Yeah. There's still a lot of disemboweling birds though. That it is. Those, and that's and, but good. it's mostly human stupidity. I mean they come up to them yeah. and go, oh, there's a That'll be the bird. next TikTok trend. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we can get a picture next to a cassowary. Don't do that. <laughs> no, don't do it. Yeah, because, the, and they, they travel by themselves. The only time you're, you ever see more than one together is during mating season. Oh, so they're okay. loners. Well, that's good. Mm. They don't come in packs. No. That scary. Yeah, that would be scary. <laughs> yeah. Well, raptors are a pack animal. Yeah, normally well, they that's are. That's what we learned from Jurassic Park. raptors, yeah. Only when they attack. They see some from so yeah I thought that was interesting pretty it's bird so but cute, very but dangerous yeah, yeah. Like, oh look at it it'll kill you hey oh, 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 <laughs> can't you just picture them flying up and his feet coming out going oh, yeah. oh it said it was like the Karate Kid you know the jump he does mm -hmm. so he's got kung fu apparently yeah <laughs> kind of like kung fu. That was kind of exactly the comment it was in here. Pretty interesting. Maybe he should have been one of the Yeah, that's a very poo gross tree. Yeah. Distributes a seed throughout the territory. Hmm. Well look at though, look at how many animals do plant things through there. Yeah. Yeah. 
there are quite a few. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then another oh, thing, because a lot of times you say they say if you like need a bear freeze, mm-hmm. do not do that. Hmm. It says never play dead when confronted with a wild cat. I heard a lot of noise. Back away slowly, facing the bird, and try to get behind a tree or some object. Raise your arms high to make yourself look as big as you possibly mm-hmm. can. Well, if they're six foot, really, how much higher can you get? If wearing a pack, put it in front of you to protect your midsection. Yeah, never get too close for photos. So yeah, that'll probably be. So they they red pandas. Because you know the red pandas when they're trying to be intimidating, they go for. Oh yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's a crap. That thing cracks me up about red pandas. They're the tiny little things, and they want to be intimidating. Yeah, they raise their prey. (laughs) Oh yeah, they do when they're like scared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's interesting, but I don't want to meet one. No, uh uh-uh. Well, you know, and people are just not smart when they see an animal and they want to take pictures, and then they get close, and you see all those videos of it going wrong. Like the ones that go to Yellowstone with the bison and get too close. and I saw that right up. Oh, and the moose. We were there when we were in Yellowstone, by the way, we're going in July. So sign-ups are still available, and the presentation is tomorrow at 9 o'clock. And through there, we see this giant, um, must have been a moose. Moose or an elk. It was huge. And he's, he, two of them are by the tree. And these people are walking right up to him. Yes. Getting I selfies. Know. And our bus driver is going, are you stupid? It's a wild animal. They do it all the time, though. No. And then they blame the animal, put the animal down because. They were stupid. stupid. Plus, like, people see, um, I've seen where somebody's seen baby bears, and they're like, oh, yeah, you well, never yeah, going okay. baby bear. You never, ever get that close, because mama is there somewhere, and that's she like is going first, to get you. Yeah, that's like the first thing you learn. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. go near a baby bear. Yeah. Mama bears. They're like, oh, look what I've seen hiking, and they're doing video, and I'm like, oh, what is wrong with you? There's Zoom for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. You just hold it there and zoom in, you'll get free Well, clothes. it's called nature. Like, <laughs> send me a sling. I like this one here. In 2012, a cassowary kicked an Australian tourist off a cliff. Oh, my goodness. While he and his family were visiting, the cassowary kicked him in the back so hard that it sent him tumbling down a bank. He reported, it was pretty high, about seven foot. I hit this ledge on the bottom and bounced off into the drink. Dang. Yay. Yeah. This is the one that got killed in 2019. And here's the thing. It says, they can also readily launch themselves through the air with their claws extended straight out in what looks like a combined karate kick and raptor attack at waist height. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That'll give you some nightmares, so. Thank you for your story time today. I aim to please. I need to care about it. So on a happier note, <laughs> <laughs> our holiday for today, today is Toast Day. <gasps> That's why we smell toast. Or, or burnt toast. Or, or Lori somebody. and I have Frank Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it on the news. We smell something burning. Yeah, it smells like <laughs> frying wires. I don't it's know. A, yeah. I just smell anything. I think it comes through when the things heat up. Oh, probably. Today is National Puppy Day. No. Oh, I love puppies. And then tomorrow's National Chocolate Cover Raisin Day. I love chocolate oh. cover raisins. I like chocolate covered anything. You don't like even chocolate cover. I don't like raisins, but I like chocolate covered raisins. Mm-hmm. I like the chocolate part. Chocolate really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, eat the chocolate I don't even raisin. think about it. Yeah, you I just, just eat it by. Um, and then Friday is Waffle Day and it's Vincent's <gasps> birthday. Oh, yay. Yay. Happy yay. birthday, Vincent! He's going to be eight years old. That's unbelievable. So, my sweet guy. Yeah, Vincent. Happy birthday, Vincent. Oh. So and then Stevie is how old? They'll be seven in October. So they're about, uh, what, 12 eight, months They're apart? 18 months. I mean, 18 months. That's not what my brothers and I were. I was just trying to think how little they were when you started. 
Mm-hmm. They were, well, Steve was two? No, he wasn't even Three. two yet. Because he, we, I started in 17, so he would have been turning two in October, and I started in July. I can't believe really he's been there since July. 17. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody, somebody was just asking us that today, and they're like, July will be five years for you, July will be eight years for me, and August is five, six years for you. No, September. September was six yeah. years for you. Yeah. Yeah, time flies. When you're having fun. Well, Ashton was only 12. now, yeah. Yep, now Jackson was Jackson, Jackson, was Jackson, too. Jackson was little. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He, he didn't even that. talk. I don't think I knew what he said. It sounded like for mm-hmm. a year or two. Yeah. yeah. Now Ashton's looking at colleges. Oh, we're so proud of him. Yay, Ashton, yeah. by the way. You are the all-star of the honor it. society and all the hard yeah. work you put in there. Like, we are also proud of you. We are. <laughs> you know what? Like, I'm really, really proud of him. I'm really sad to think in like a year because he's taking a year off to work, you know, and save up money. And then I'm just like, oh, I'm so sad. I'll miss him. I get a little bit teary eyed. And he's like, oh my God, mom, I am with you for like another year to year and a half. You're fine. I'm like, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> it never goes away either. See, like, I can start getting teary eyed just yeah. thinking about it. That's hard. You don't like realize. I don't know, until now I'm like down to a year and a half and I'm like mm. it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's funny. It's exciting yeah. for him. Yeah, so. I'm very very proud of him. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think he's done a great job. Yeah. That's good. And just a few announcements. I was so proud of her this week. I can't believe how big she's getting. So she's taking me out ballet. She is? Mm-hmm. Oh. This is oh, Monday. And so normally, she, I have to go out into the middle of the room with her. Like, she did not want me to do anything. Like, Mom had me with her. So I'm out there like, oh, God, do that. <laughs> oh trust me, you <laughs> were enjoying every <laughs> minute oh, of it. This woman has a background in dance. <laughs> So I can bet she'll go, I'll go. But I, I'm the only adult out there, so it's super cool. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> you, you love that. I'll teach it. So she went out there on her own this week. I was so proud of her. She's doing her little shaker dance when I took her picture. That's so cute. Oh, I got, we've got to go to her first recital. That'll be in June. Oh, my gosh. Yep. But she's doing good. I'm proud of her. And she's oh, the youngest one because um, everybody else is either already two or three. And so she's the itty bitty one in that yeah. class. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Well, she's not small on personality. That's for dog, I'm sure. No, yeah, she's not. So, and then others just like them. She does. She really does. Yeah, her and Ben are about the same. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look at this. I know. Oh. They favor a lot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, he's got the darker hair. He has my hair. Yeah. But it wasn't darker when he was little. It was a little blonder. Yeah. But it darkened up yeah, as he got more. Yeah, he always had kind of a little more brown mm-hmm. in his hair. Well, yeah, to me, he was, was always toehead. I mean, I always looked at him and said, See, like that one up at the water. Mm-hmm. The toe heads. Yeah. yeah. Well, Vincent is blonder, but yeah, to me they've or always blonder. Vincent's more white, like yeah. White, white, yeah. white. Yeah. He has a little more. Oh, yeah. we're looking up at the pictures. On the <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, we're we're like, why is she looking down? There's a whole wall of pictures. There's a whole wall of pictures. They just were splitting images up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Each other. Wait, I Personality wise, I'll see if I get it right. But you guys have to see what we look at because um, we're always looking off, and that's what is across from us is all of <laughs> Leslie's pictures. So now you know. Okay, now let's see if I get that right. Oh, that wasn't bad. Like that. There you go. Hey. Few of the things that are.
yeah. shelter toiletry drive will end on the 31st so if you did want to donate to it please bring in the stuff by not this thursday but next thursday oh we took so many down we have pictures mm -hmm. of that they we were so appreciative lot. she couldn't believe how so much thank you to everyone yeah, what a great job and then friday we have our remembrance celebration so um come have cake and punch and talk about your loved ones that have passed mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be re or recent it can be Anytime. Years down the road, yeah. you just want to come talk and yeah. just remember who they were. Yep. And then we have our book club this coming Monday, Ooh. The Family Across the Street. I've got to finish that That's book. That's a good I book. I can remember <laughs> back to it because I've read some of them yeah. and then like, I just have to. It's good. I'm not it saying it's not good. good. I just haven't taken the time to actually finish it. So I've got to finish it before Monday. Family Across the Street is what we'll be discussing on Monday at 1030. Caroline actually did what we wanted to when we she heard the twist mm -hmm. she went back through the book oh did she and the writer was right on i mean it was just stuff that we picked up and we thought we'd read or we thought uh -huh. we had filmed it wasn't there hmm. i know so that was good it's, writing i think it's the way yeah that she yeah. says it or then Presents like there's it. little things that you're like that is put in there to throw you yeah you know like so yeah there is a twist there. and if you'd like to join us for april uh, the book for April is Summer Breezes by Debbie McCumber. Well, now I'm going to get that song in my head every time. And it's, a, it's more of a romance novel. Well, there's two stories in it. Mm -hmm. So it's not just one, the whole thing's not just one mm -hmm. whole, it's broken into two sections. Mm -hmm. So. And then um, coming up next Wednesday, not this Wednesday, excuse me, today is Wednesday, but next yeah. Wednesday um, is our caregiver support group. So come join us. We're in kind of a break. Wait a minute, is today the fourth Wednesday? Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it's today. Oh, like two o'clock. Two, two o'clock. Oh, yeah, I'll right. make some coffee for you guys. Yeah, come on down. I'm like 10 awesome. minutes before I teach my class. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So come on down if you want to join us. Um, other than that, I mean, I can't believe this is the end of the month. I don't know what happened. I know they're asking for. Like, I can't believe we're in April. They were asking for when the newsletter's coming out, when all the flyers coming out, and I'm going, guys, I'm working as fast as I can. <laughs> the newsletter. For being a long month, it has gone fast. It has. Mm -hmm. The newsletter you will get probably on the first. Yeah. Like you're not really gonna get it early just because. The cleaning week and then getting all of our dates. I think cleaning week being like just the kind second of, week hmm. almost because that first whole week was starting the seventh, but I feel like that threw me off with that being the way it was. Yeah, that's the week I always work on the newsletter mm -hmm. in like, you know, first week and so it kind of put a week behind. So we'll get them out ASAP. As soon as they're done printed, we'll get them stuffed and sent out. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, we will see you next time. We might be live. We might not be. I kind of like doing the live. Playing, so, I do um, too. It's kind of nice. And then, um, if they interact, they interact. If they don't, they watch it later. Yeah. yeah, that's for sure. Did I even turn off the app? I totally forgot about that. Because <laughs> I went and looked up Google of what Kevin was. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Guys. Hope you didn't comment. I don't think you did. It would have come up over there. Yeah. Give me an email. You know, just like chatface at gmail.com or something like that. That's not a fiddly, that emails wouldn't come into, but that we could get a hold of and mm -hmm. bring people on a, you know, Facebook is, or email us, give us ideas. And we could make that our our Facebook one. If they could, right now it's your email. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been your email. My work email? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My it's been that way ever since I started. Yeah, mine. Ah. I, don't get I think I blocked all Facebook on my emails. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> we'll change it. Then. Yeah, if you've been trying to get a hold of us, well, sorry. Because all, all our Facebook, all my Facebook stuff, when they all switched the it to the book, mm -hmm. you know, when it trips, it went to everything. I think they blocked it off of my email. Mm -hmm. funny. Uh, well, we'll change it up. We'll find out. You never know. We say things and then we forget about them and then they come back and then we do them. We're like, oh, yeah. That's who we are. <laughs> love us or leave us, but don't leave us because we have good stuff coming up. We do. 
All right, we'll see you next Wednesday, guys. All Have right. a good weekend. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching Chat Face with the Harmon Center Girls. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Like or share as well. Have a great day.